So I want to tell you a little bit about the company. But first I want to show you this picture. This is me at 24 under the care of a dermatologist spending $80 a month for a lotion to have my skin not hurt. So but right here you can kind of see the scar tissue that I had. Mm -hmm. And this again, I had full makeup on. And you can see the premature wrinkling. And to me, more importantly than that I'm getting hotter, you know, is that my skin actually feels better. I used to say to people, oh, you know, more important than how my skin looks is how it feels. And somebody said, um, most people's skin doesn't hurt them. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. So not being comfortable in your own skin mm -hmm. has led me to trying lots of different things, lots of different products. And I'd always be, you know, the girl that's putting her makeup on in the bathroom, I'd be like, here, let me put it on. Because experimenting on me would lead to rashes. Okay. Which was a disappointment because I love color. So I found Synagens when I was 27. And at first I found the lipstick and I was like, oh. So products have to work. If they don't work, we don't sell them. They have to have a wow. So we, um, no animal testing, no animal byproducts, naturally recurring. We are not Organic. Organic is here's an apple, and I have not put any chemicals around it and sweet, you know, batted away the flies and all of that. Here you go. I have not messed with this apple. Once you put in a tube, you can really technically no longer call it organic because you've messed with the molecular structure of the apple or the product. So what we are is we're naturally reoccurring products. They're natural, but just because you're natural doesn't mean you're good for you. Fecal matter is natural. Tar is natural. In fact, if you go to Whole Foods, their mascara has tar in it. And tar is bad. It kills the dinosaurs. You know what I'm saying? You know, they got in the tar pits, right? So, <laughs> anyway, right. So what we are, as I said, is a cosmeceutical, which means every single ingredient has been clinically tested to be good for you. Okay. So we love that. So we don't have any cardboard around this. I just give it to you like this in a cute little bag. No, so we're trying to be environmentally friendly and environmentally friendly for your face and good for you. And then we donate to different women's and children's charities, which is, you know, cool that a certain number of proceeds go to them. So what we do that's different, instead of taking skin off the top, like in a chemical peel or things like that, and sometimes there is a need for that, but for everyday maintenance, that's not a maintenance program. It's little things you do every day that make or break you. That's true with life and with your skincare. I can't work out once a month. I've tried. It doesn't give me the same results. <laughs> I have to do it more often, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of going in for a treatment once a month or every six weeks to do stuff to your skin, what we do is we penetrate deep down into the skin and get down there by um, and increase the rate at which the skin cells from the bottom get to the top by 23.3%. So by getting to the top of the skin, they are more youthful, hydrated, and the time that it takes for them to get to the top is cut. It's not as long. So, I would start you on the normal to dry line, judging from your skin with the climate control, right? Mm -hmm. The rest of these, and this is the order in which you use things. The rest of these products are we call them our solutions. So if you want that solution, we mm -hmm. have the solution. Okay. Okay, so dark circle treatment, not something I've needed. I've been using these products for so long that I'm doing pretty good with that. But if that's something you want. So those are our different solutions. So longer lashes, fuller lips, longer nails. I don't like too long of a nails because I'm putting my fingers in people's faces. But some mm -hmm. people do want longer nails and stronger nails. I do use the polishing exfoliator twice a week just to get the dead skin off and just to keep my skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that lasts uh, about a year. And then here's our makeup. Now because our makeup works differently than other makeup because your skin thinks it's skin. You know how we get that sloughed look with our foundations, you know, where it's kind of tired? Mm -hmm. It's because the skin is like trying to get it off. Okay. And so we're sweating between our skin and our makeup, and that's why it kind of... So we actually sweat on the outside because your skin, our foundation becomes like, it's skincare. Your skin, the sun coming at you is touching your foundation, not your skin. The, the daytime moisturizer and the foundation is equivalency of a 30 SPF. It's not an SPF because an SPF is actually a chemical that's bad for your skin. So we use it a little teeny teeny bit mm -hmm. and then magnify it with other mm -hmm. natural ingredients to make it like a 30 SPF. 
Okay. And then, um, but the found the molecule structure of the foundation is going into your skin, delivering skin care, and then a little bit of protectant on the top. So when my skin's breathing, it can breathe, and it's protecting me from the free radicals because the little free radicals, you know, the crazy things mm -hmm. from the 60s, I mean, the things that dried our skin, that's how I was joking. <laughs> they um, are picking at your skin. Okay. Now they're picking at your foundation. Okay. Instead of it, my makeup being a free radical. So you want to use our makeup remover because what it does is it just breaks that bond. And it just comes right off. And then, you know, all the different products, right? Now the lipstick goes with the gloss. And, um, you know, anything you put on your body. Shampoo, conditioner all of that and you can be a customer or a distributor and if you want to be a distributor to get a discount on your product that's fine if you want to build a team i happen to be one of five national trainers with the company this is now yours for your reading enjoyment yay you know and then everything that we're going to put on you i'm going to put here on this receipt okay so that if you don't want to buy blush today that's fine because then you come, you know, and, um, three months from now, use up your other blush or whatever, and you're like, what was that color? You don't have to meet with me again. No, it's not that I don't want you, you know. But that way we know everything, and that way if you try to buy like this color, I'll say, Colette, I'm looking at your color profile, and that's a hideous color for you. I can see that's a hideous color for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's for a very specific color, right. you know, and so that way we can make sure we serve you in getting you the right kind of color. You just need one pump of our foundation. You notice that I'm holding it away from me just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, this is all done by air pressure. So sometimes okay. how they're stored, they can fart a little bit. So I just kind of hold it in the sink. Okay. So it doesn't fart on me. They're on so natural, pumps. they fart. <laughs> and then if they ever get clogged because it's done by air pressure, you just kind of hit this hard uh -huh. at the base of your hand, making sure that little hole right there is not covered up. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of hit it really hard. I can't hit that hard with the foundation on my finger. Yeah. And that will get the air pressure jump started again. Okay. I just blend it with the brush. Now I picked, I did not match evenly because matte makeup is not about matching evenly. It's about giving an effect, but not letting people notice that. Okay. So when we're a little bit more mature, I like to add in a little bit of a goldy bronzy look because it makes us look more, but not a dark look. Right. You know? But this customizing into your skin, like we were talking about, it helps absorb it nicely. So here is you with foundation. It takes about two minutes for it to set, and you can't see that it's on. So after two minutes of it being on your face or so, <laughs> then you can be on the phone or rub up against your clothes, but just let it, it's just bonding okay. to your skin. So you'll notice that it still feels really light. So blush, notice how little I got there. Right. See, very little. And then I blend the two fingers together like that because we've got two cheeks. And then you go like this. And just like the sun has kissed you, like a little girl or a little boy, right? Just very natural and youthful. I put it on the apples of the cheeks and I make that look every morning when I do it and do it in a Nike symbol or a laying down six. Yeah. Okay? I'll just take a teeny bit of mocha java on my finger blend it together, and then you go from tops of your ears down into the pucker mark and just blend it a little bit. Same thing here. These. So you want your eyebrows to end if you look from your nose up to here, and you I can tell you've already kind of tried to accentuate them here and we washed that off, you know? Mm -hmm. You just want a little bit, and then you don't want them to be too perfect, so you just kind of scratch a little bit so that it's not perfect because they're they don't want you don't want them to look too um too done because don't then want you them to look drawn on because then people can tell that you did something and we, mm -hmm. um if you're building a house you have two by fours and okay. it looks kind of rough when it's just in the two by four structure right but high-end makeup is about blending and layering makeup over each other. So right here, um, this is my blending palette that I've used. Because this, if it's yours, you can just put it directly to your eye. But that would be unhygienic. Um, or you can have it like this and control how much you get more by just rubbing your brush against it. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my two by fours of telling the eye, the person who's looking at your hotness, mm -hmm. where the eye actually goes up. There's actually no shadow that goes down. So everything I'm going to do is going to gently guide the eye into here. Okay. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to lift it here because it goes down a teeny bit. Oh, I just do little specks on your face. That's good. And she has a freckle. I didn't have that freckle before, she says. Okay. So go ahead and look in the mirror. This is a two by four structure. Okay. For your face shape. So see how I said kind of think of it more like an eyeliner? Right. We've kind of done a little bit of an eyeliner. That reminds me of these. Well, I'm not going to whip out the blue as much as you want it. I don't care what blue in the 80s. So make, make sure, which is good, because it's not... But we did do these kind of lines <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> well, you know, makeup is not a PhD thing. You know, this is not rocket science. This is not hard stuff. It's mm -hmm. art. And you can, um, you know, it's just not that complicated, right? right? Now, if you wanted to just do that with the sandstone pearl over the top, just blending it out a little bit so it's not a line, mm -hmm. and then to do the highlighting, you could. But I'm going to add in a little bit of a sh color to go with your shirt. Okay. Okay, and it's going to complement the green of your eyes. And I'm just taking this color kind of over the top of what we did, and I'm creating that same paisley feeling, okay? Okay. In fact, I'm loving this so much. Okay. Look in the mirror. Notice the difference between those two eyes. I'm leaving the line of the smoked topaz, but I blended it out a little bit. Okay. So I'm still guiding it up. And you don't, when you look at me, see how I have a line there? Mm -hmm. You don't notice that until you point it out. What you notice right. is my eyes. Right. You know, but people, when you look at anything like this, yeah. you're going mm -hmm. to find weird things, right? Absolutely. It's the overall effect. Okay. Okay. What it does. So we just take this, and I'm starting in the inside of the eye, and then I'm just blending out. Now this is the part that sometimes makes women feel a little bit like, oh Nelly, what you done to me? Okay. Okay. Now you notice right here how I have white? Yes. Again, you didn't notice that until I pointed out. Right. You just notice my hotness. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm drawing you into my eyes. Okay. Eye makeup is this whole area. It's not just above the lid. Okay. It's this whole area, literally down to your blush line. Okay. Because we get things called, our eyes, yes. when they're young, they're up like this, and when we age, they come in like this, and they gather our baggage. Yes, they do. So why would we not highlight them up? So I've okay. drawn them up, open, alert, right? And then I take a little bit of Whisper Pink, and if this is too white to you and scares you, I can do it with candlelight and still get a similar effect. Okay. Um, but you know, you're a hottie. We can, we, you can rock this. And then I just take a little bit in the corner of the eye because we get kind of dark in here. And then I take a little bit here and kind of cover up the idea of the shadow here. Mm -hmm. See how with that line and then the white underneath, it says there's no wrinkles that go down. There's no redness from the late nights of working hard. <laughs> um, okay, and then this one right here, this could be like a, you know, I'm at the gym color. Just a really light color. Mm -hmm. But I also think it would be fun to layer over. And it has crushed diamonds in it, so it has a little bit of shimmer. And I'm feeling like you could do shimmer on your lips. Are you, are you, are you I, with me on that? I'm with you on that. Okay, okay. I was feeling like I was, you know, that you would go for that. And then... Um, this to me would be a great red for you if you want to do a red because it's the orange right mm -hmm. and because you've got a little bit of pink influences and the lighter green of your eyes you don't want to do a pink pink no you don't want to do anything like that you want to do like that's as pink as you want to go the the precious topaz mm -hmm. see how it's kind of a little bit pink but you don't want to be doing berry berries you know you want mm -hmm. to do earthy so in my in is there something that goes, ah? Other than me, I do that a lot. I would say I'm looking at those and I'm leaning towards that one. Okay. So how about we do that with a little bit of like sea coral on the top to bring it into your shirt okay. for today. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, just staying with those colors. I want to say something to my team on this. You'll notice that when I was putting her lipstick on, that I kind of rolled 
I kind of roll it a little bit so that I'm getting the whole thing on the stick. Because what happens is you go like this and then you don't have any more. I go like this and kind of kind of roll it a little bit. Something you gotta practice, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll keep your lips apart. And then I take the same stick right here on the other side, turn it around. This way I go through as little sticks as possible. Right here, we put the normal to dry where I start you and the climate control. I think the polishing exfoliator will help just from some of the, the old acne damage mm -hmm. just to help get it more smooth. Um, and then I did tan foundation. I did toasted rose blush. I did a teeny bit of mocha java, but it's not a required, so I'm not going to put mm -hmm. that down. If you say, Lita, I just like to be disgusting with my cheek bones and make them be all the more slutty, we can do that for you. <laughs> okay. And then ebony essence, again, all I used it for was just to lift up the eye just a teeny bit. And then um, I did smoke topaz for the 2x4. We did um, copper rose for your accent color. And then sandstone pearl, sandstone pearl to blend okay, mm -hmm. up here. So there are any rough lines up there because if you want it to be light here, so it centers that eye. Your eyebrows mm -hmm. are the frame for your face. So you want nice defined brows so that this is not as noticeable, but that this is. Okay. The pupil. And I used um, taupe for your brows. So smoke toe bags for the 2x4, sandstone purple blending, and then the whisper pink for the highlighting. Now, do you feel comfortable with the whiteness or is it bothering you? Because I can tone it down, but it's I a like little, it. I'm getting it. it took yeah. me. If you have an issue with it, I can go to candlelight, but this gives you more of the drama mm -hmm. and you just use very little. And then um, I didn't put mascara on you because that means you have to buy right now because you can't get it off tonight. And you're calling me being like, I think I just pulled out eyelashes. That would so be bad. So don't give people mascara without food, meaning they need to buy it. Because then they're sad. And I haven't sold any less because I tell them mascara stays on all day. And then um, color-wise, we, I think the Dusty Rose would be a good just everyday you know, comfort color. Do you mm -hmm. ever feel like you need a quiet color? Do you ever feel that no. way? No. Okay, then we don't need that. Okay, so brick is your red, and then sea coral. Is there any other color on my hand that, that jives with you? She's like, no, I like the big, no, loud and pretty. Like, yeah, see, I, I like that. I like the... Mm -hmm. This right here is the, this is the neutral right here, which would be pretty on you, because that's got a little bit of the... Um, and then, um, yeah, I will tend to lean towards the darker, um, that's, that's dusty too, rose with a little bit more. That looks a little brown. Yeah, it's not it quite that brown. Okay, I don't want that one for you. Oh! I like that. Yeah. Okay, okay, so go ahead and fill that out, and then you have a choice. You can pay retail, and, you know pay retail or you can be a distributor and get a discount, whatever you would like to do. So you notice I invited Colette to fill this out in front of her, right here. She's filling that out and I've already said to her, just go ahead and click the box, whatever you want. I reminded her that she could pay retail or, get a, or be a customer, right? So then after she's filled that out and she's holding the pen, I just say click whatever you want today unless you want to get a discount. Done. And let her think about it. Don't try to talk her into it, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if, if you're thinking over their budget, because I want my team to know that it's not just like, okay, you got to buy yes. stuff. But once you have this, you don't have to have any fancy clotheslines. It's just yes. fill that out. You have the pen. Click the box of what you want to take with you today. Perfect. Right? I clean up my tester kit and do that and just let her think. And then she can ask me whatever questions she has. I just wanted you to notice that because it's not uncomfortable for me to do that and it's not uncomfortable for you. And then she can think what she wants. Okay.